In this video, we are going to solve merging of k sorted lists. It's a very popular problem and it has been asked uh, quite a few times in uh, Facebook, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Adobe, ByteDance and many more companies. So it's a very important question. So let's understand the problem. So uh, in this problem, uh, we are given a few linked lists. In general, we will be given k linked lists and these are sorted. So this is the first linked list l1 this is l2 and l3 in this case k is 3 so we have three linked lists and you can see that the values are sorted so the goal is that create one singly linked list out of all the k linked lists such that this is also sorted so uh, the number of nodes in this part the total number of nodes by adding the values it's same in both the linked lists so how we can do that so uh, i have color coded the nodes so that you can see that uh, this color of nodes light very light blue kind of coming from the first linked list and then the greenish one these are coming from second linked list and so on so let's see a few approaches so first thing would come to your mind that may be very naive uh, is that take all the nodes so we have n nodes in in total so we can sort them in n log n approach using a simple sorting method and you will get the linked lists but that is very naive we are not using the fact that the nodes are already sorted so even if these are not sorted uh, this approach would work but we have to utilize this sorting property so let's see a much a better approach so the op optimized approach would, would be that you keep you can keep uh, one pointer each at each of the k linked lists so we have k linked lists so we have k pointers and currently all of them are at the beginning of the list so we have not yet started building the main list so the list is empty so first one should be the smallest among all of these and smallest among all of these will be in the beginning so because a 3 would be larger than 1 similarly 2 would be larger than 1 4 is larger than 3 so we will just have to compare among k different keys at a time so we have pointer to current pointers to all the linked list heads so minimum overall minimum will be one of these it's not sorted in this direction mind you uh, this 3 4 can be the first linked list also so the minimum would be among these k keys so we will compare among k different keys at a time so let's say minimum is one of these either uh, the first one or the second one so let's keep the blue one now we have t added this to the main linked list this node so in the first linked list we will move the pointer here next maybe this was also one so we would have taken this also it's not that uh, once we have taken from first list uh, the next one will be from second other list maybe all the keys are smaller than the minimum of all the other so the next pointer in the first list is here now in the second node so now we are comparing on one three and three so the smallest is one now this is also added so the pointer in the second list moves here and we have to compare among 2, 3 and 4 so 2 is the minimum so let's add 2 here and this is added so the pointer moves here in the second list so we are comparing on 3, 6 and 3 so minimum is 3 let's pick this 3 and the pointer is here so 3, 5 and 6 minimum is again 3 so this is added now pointer in the third list is here so four five six four so this is added you see that this last list is now empty we have added all the nodes so now we are comparing on these two values five and six so minimum is five and this is added and finally we have to compare again just one key which is six and now this list is also empty and this is the result so uh, the main uh, 
thing that we need here is to a way of comparing k different keys so we are picking minimum among k keys minimum of k different values so what would be the way of uh, implementing this a natural way would be to come up with the idea of a min heap because min heap exactly does that we are not bothered about ordering among these keys but we are bothered about what is the minimum among those k keys and that is what min heap does so uh, we can use uh, built in functions uh, built in uh, constructs like uh, priority queue it's available in c++ java python everywhere so let's take a priority queue and insert the head of all the lists so we would insert uh, let's use this page uh, we would insert 1 1 and 3 in the priority queue so at a time maximum k values can be there in the priority queue so time taken to compare k values would be log of or uh, getting the minimum would be o of 1 but again you have to do heapify which can take log of k time so let's take this time as one operation as log k so minimum would be 1 so we added this one and the pointer is here so whenever we uh, insert the minimum from this priority queue so priority queue will have at max k keys so whenever we pick the minimum and add it to the main list the result list we find what is the next of this so here we will be inserting the node pointer instead of the node value so that we can check what was the next so next of one was 3 so one is now removed as the minimum and we insert 3 this node node pointer not the value into this priority queue so 3 is inserted now again the minimum is 1 and this one is coming from here so we put one here and see what was the next so this pointer is still intact the next pointer since these are pointers i am repeating again and again so this one is gone and now the priority queue has 3 instead of 1 now it's next of 1 2 and 3 minimum is 2 so we put 2 here 2 is popped its next is 6 6 is pushed minimum is 3 let's say this 3 Three comes, so this is popped, and it's next. That is five is pushed into the queue, priority queue. Now we have three six five, so you get the idea. Next uh, three will be picked, this one, and its next will be pushed four. Next four will be picked, and its next is null, so we will not put anything. So now we have just six and five here, so minimum will be five. and its next is also null so now we have just 6 in the priority queue and we will pick 6 and again its next is null so the priority queue becomes empty and at that point we return the head of this new list so what will be the total time there are n total nodes and i said that uh, picking the minimum takes one unit of time but hp5 will take log of k and after some time this k will also decrease some of the lists may become empty so total log k for one operation so n log k is the approach here this approach time taken and the uh, naive approach was n log n so n may be very large total number of nodes and k may be a very small quantity so this is a faster approach and in this uh, this is the time complexity and a space would be at uh, once we are storing at max k node pointers so we can say o of k now let's write the code for this so we have to define a comparator for our priority queue since uh, it uh, may not be available this link linked list pointer we don't have a way of comparing based on which field we want to compare in this case we will compare based on the value so let's define our comparator so take two pointers list node star a list node star b
so if you want to sort based on the smallest value you have to take greater than and now we will define the priority queue So the priority queue will have list node pointers and we will use vector as container. And the comparator. Let's name it PQ. And now initially we will insert the head pointers of all the lists so there may be some lists so there may be test cases where you have a list this is a vector of list node but that is empty so you have to insert only if that particular list is non empty Now we have to check, maybe that priority queue was empty, nothing was inserted, there are no nodes. So if this is empty, then simply return null. Otherwise, this is the head of the final list that we want to create. So now we have handled the case that priority queue is non-empty. So we can safely pick the top element, the minimum element. This will, this will be the overall minimum also. And let's pop it. Once we have used it, we have to pop it. And if head next is there, then we have to push the its next. Since we popped the head, it will be popped from one of the k lists so put insert the next from that list itself it may be the last element in that case we will not insert but if the next exists then insert it And let's keep the current in the uh, final list because this head will always be pointing to the first node in the resultant list, the longer list. Uh, we have to also keep track of the tail. Tail will be the current list, current node that we just inserted so that we can uh, make the next of the tail as the new node that we want to insert next. So we ca you can call it tail or you can call it current anything let's call it current so initially head is the current one and we will insert next of head so while pq is not empty we have to run this loop Again, the same logic that we applied earlier here in the beginning. Pick the minimum, pop the element and check its next. Current next equal to this uh, n. So current is the tail, the last node in the longer linked list. So this new node n comes here and now current or tail is pointing to this in and the node that we popped out if its next exists then we will put it into the priority queue and this will continue till this priority queue becomes empty and then we will return head
so let's uh, run it on a few test cases it's working for our case so let's uh, submit it and the solution is accepted so i hope uh, you understood this so uh, if you want in python and java it's very simple you have to if you understood the logic there is nothing much here it's a very simple code in fact this same logic is repeating for initialization and all the other values so uh, good luck and see you in the next lesson